In this video, I would like to discuss some best practices regarding gateways. In this example, can you guess which of the two processes uses the exclusive gateway incorrectly and why? Feel free to pause the video to have a good look. It is the second process which does not follow the rules of BPMN 2.0. As mentioned before, every opening exclusive gateway should have a title with a decision point, as in the example above. Although having tasks for each flow after the exclusive gateway is not mandatory, in the example below, the process goes from opening exclusive gateway directly to a closing one, which simply says that in this scenario, the Confirm Workshop's objective task is simply skipped and no action is required to plan the workshop. In this next example, we have two very similar processes with the same process steps, but only one is correct. And the correct process is the one above. At this point, the process above is very familiar and we know it adheres to all BPMN 2.0 conventions. On the other hand, the process below is splitting the flow without the usage of gateways. It is against the conventions to have two or more arrows or sequence flows coming out of or going into an any element other than a gateway. Another important rule to remember is that we cannot have overlapping sequence flows as shown in this example. We need to come up with another way to represent the process, either by going around the task or by adding a gateway helping us merging sequence flows. In this last example, we have an interesting situation where we have multiple gateway types, both parallel and exclusive. We can see that we have opening parallel gateway and opening exclusive gateway. However, we only have parallel gateway, closing both opening gateways. This should be corrected, and Signavio also will indicate that there is an error here. As we've learned in our previous videos, each opening gateway should be closed by the same gateway type. In this example, we have opening parallel and opening exclusive gateways, which means we should have closing gateways for each type. And this is the correct way to represent that. First, we are closing the exclusive gateway, and only then we are closing the parallel gateway. I hope now you have a better understanding how gateways work and you are excited to explore further process modeling techniques with Signavio.